You actually thought I was outside, didn't you? I know you did. Yes, you did. I had this idea. I wanted to sit down and have a quick chat with the camera. I just got home from the gym. And while I was at the gym, I was thinking of some stuff. I'm thinking about the motivation. I'm thinking about where's my objective in my YouTubing. Where's, where's the objective? Where's my focus? And so I had some thoughts, had some ideas. I'm going to kick those things out. But first, I need a shower, man. I can barely stand myself. And the gym didn't have AC. And frankly, I love working out when it's really hot. It's kind of strange to work out in an AC environment. I mean, I remember the old days in the gym where you were like basically a garage or a barn, you know, and you're working out in the dead heat of summer and you're just dripping of sweat. There's a lot of fun about working hard like that. Meanwhile, shower time. See you in a minute. Nice and fresh, clean, out of the shower. Uh, by the way, Gold's Gym. Who has not been a member of Gold's Gym somewhere in this country or this world? Sarasota Gold's Gym was the bomb. I was a charter member. I'm very proud of that years ago. Thank you, Bruce Day, Bob Santor. So I'm learning a lot about talking to this freaking camera. <laughs> So what I wanted to share with you in regards to this whole video YouTube experience is I'm trying to figure out how I want to approach this. As I shared before in some earlier videos, it's been a battle for me to produce something because I had a lot of stuff going on with family. My mom battling cancer and eventually losing that battle, um, which just I just came back from in Indiana. And then I lost my dog. He's in my slideshow too. I've got a lot of wonderful photos of him. Ah, so, seems like I've had a lot of loss in my life lately. But, um, I'm now kind of getting past that. What I want to do is now move forward. The reason I wasn't producing anything, and I did produce, I produced about a dozen pieces that I loaded up on um, YouTube, but I did not promote. Because the moment I loaded it up, something emotional happened. Either mom had a dip in her treatments, uh, my dog was having some issues. When you produce something and you release it, you gotta stay consistent. It's part of the game. So between that and also trying to overanalyze what I should produce, how I should produce, all kinds of stuff, I really had a paralysis of analysis going on there too. Here I am, I'm beyond, I still have some grieving to do, granted, but I'm here, I'm here, you're there. I've had some tremendous support from other YouTubers, people I have met that are all over this country. I've met people out in LA um, and some people who I've met here who who are who are visiting, you know? I mean, I'm in a tourist area. I perform for, for people who are visiting in the area. And I've met some fantastic people from Canada. I've got so many Canadian friends, man. You guys are wonderful people. I love you guys. And one of my best friends here is Canadian, you know? And, um, and there are also a lot of other local YouTubers here. I've not met all of them, but I have a couple good friends who are doing it and they're, they're doing very well with it. I'm very happy and very proud of them to pursue it and take it on and they're like, they're serious, man. They're really, really serious. I've been wanting to be serious, but I've allowed these things to kick me in the balls. And now it's just time to put on the cup and take a kicking and it's all right, I'm ready. Bring it, bring the kick. My thoughts were, I'm just going to produce videos. Forget what, forget overthinking it. Forget trying to be something that I'm not. Forget trying to be Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon or, you know, all these phenomenal YouTubers. Man, I got to start. I just got to pull the trigger. You know, you know what it's like. You just got to start something. You got to get moving. And I got to kick this inertia in the ass and push this vehicle up the road, man. That's my objective here. I'm just going to start doing some vlogs. I don't know if, how frequently I can do it, but I'm gonna push myself. I'm gonna push myself to share a little something, a little snippet. We all are very limited with time. So I don't wanna bore you with my daily stories. And if I can share something with you that you can enjoy, that's what it's all about. We're here, we're in this exchange, sharing, right? So what am I sharing? I've been digging the whole photography thing. I'm having a good time with it and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think I've got a good eye for it. I just want to get better. So that's a skill that I'm enjoying pursuing and growing. This, the video, the editing, I'm going to have, I already enjoy that so much. I've done it so many times just by producing so many pieces 
which you have not seen, and I trashed because <laughs> it is what it is. That's another aspect. Music is what I do. I've been a performer my whole life. So these other, these other creative aspects with the camera and the video and the photography are just an extension of what I do. I'm really enjoying it. One skill I could use some practice at would be talking to the camera getting my communication skills down. I've been pretty isolated for quite some time. So I plan on doing that too. I'm a performer. Some of you may not know, but I'm a solo looping performer. I've been a performer my whole life. I've been in bands. I've had, um, and I can share those stories too. I've had other bands that I was in, you know, even from my very childhood. I mean, my first band was when I was 13. And this is so, such a great little story I will have to share with you too. My dog's name is Apollo. And the first band I was in was called Apollo. And a big shout out to my buddies in that band, Andrew Harvey, the drummer, who came up with the name of the band, uh, Charles Groves, bass player, John Webb, guitar player, and, uh, and moi. And I'll share with you some of those videos. Uh, actually, we didn't have videos. We had, we had um, oh my God, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew recorded every rehearsal and I digitized them for our 20th high school reunion um, prior, like the year prior to that, I connected because Andrew, the drummer in my first band was playing with my brother-in-law in Indiana. And so one day we got together and we were all hanging out and we were, uh, getting high and drinking some beers and Andrew pulls out these tapes and it's us, <laughs> these, these, these little kids, it was hilarious. So, uh, I had the pleasure of digitizing them and sharing that with everybody for our 20th um, high school reunion. And then we even had a little jam, which was fun too. But that's a story in itself. Those little things, those little, those little stories, those are fun and they're fun to share. So I, I look forward to sharing them with you. Andrew, John, Charles, if you got anything you wanna share, let me know, hit me up. And if you're in the area too, we need to do a little collab here. Here's my buddy, it's my boy Apollo. The other thing I want to share is uh, some live performances and my production, my production work. Let me show you some production. This is what I do. This is where I make my music. Studio One, professional. Uh, it's a it's a software digital audio workstation by Presonus, and I absolutely love this this uh, DAW, as we call it in the industry. Let me pull up a project here. You can see um, while Apollo looks upon us here in the in the vlog so for all you music guys you geeks you know what's going on for all of you who are not geeks and are not even technically savvy you'll un let me explain real quick this is where i produce music this is where i when i did my cd i did it all right here in my studio and this is where i'm writing and producing and uh yeah, so my my goal is to just build my musical library here in my studio. This is this is like another this this is my world. Like I went to school for composition, and um, it's where my heart lies, really. So here's a piece uh, called "Que Tiempo." my magic happens. So that's something else I want to share with you too. And I want to uh, bring on and some bring in some friends and uh, share some of their talents too. I've got some phenomenal guitar player friends of mine. Um, I've got uh, some of my old buddies that I used to play with in the bands. Um, and some other guys who are who are doing their solo thing. And I'd like to bring them in here and do a little engaging music session. You know, just have some fun. So let's have some fun. 
I hope you enjoy.